everyone, and welcome back to Danganronpa! We're still exploring the fifth floor. This is a very interesting floor because there is a lot going on and this looks like big trees. Like how did Monokuma fit all these trees in here? <laughs> Hi Kyoko! What Kyoko told me yesterday, what the heck did it mean? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Um, Kyoko? I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up to the surveillance camera. Yeah. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? Yeah. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like usual, I didn't understand anything any better than before. Well, you could have talked about something else. You could have said, hey, Kyoko, this room is pretty cool, don't you think? The target seems pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. <laughs> Yay! Mono Mono Coin! Good job, Makuto. Yay for being able to see! <laughs> Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here, and it's in full bloom. Yeah. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Yeah. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't it kinda out of place? It is kinda out of place, especially in a school setting. This is very weird. <laughs> Even though this room is totally enclosed, it's cherry blossom trees. A butcha 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 pot. And we learn more about Kyoko. She lived overseas. It's a straw post used for sword practice. Did they use it for training here too? Oh, we got another mana mana coin. We almost have 200 coins. Oh, okay. We only have one spot to look in these lockers. There's a bunch of wooden lockers here. The wooden lockers and keys remind me of super old school public bathhouses. Super old school public bathhouses. What's over here? Samurai! A suit of armor is on display. It's extremely Japanese. It's a samurai, right? That samurai? Oh, and we have this to look at. This is one of the mon monitors Monokuma appears on. And the camera. No matter what, there's always a surveillance camera! Is there anything else on the ceiling? Anything? No? Okay. <laughs> we can leave this room then. There actually wasn't that much to look at. I guess, I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. What, really? But once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. That's it? I thought there was going to be a lot more rooms! <laughs> I didn't actually run around, so, uh... Huh. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. And before long... <laughs> it would appear everyone has returned. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still field a basketball team. What? Uh, Hina? <laughs> That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. <sighs> can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Okay, what'd you guys discover? Let's start with you, Byakuya. <laughs> By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? 
Well, no. Strange is a massive understatement. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. Ah. Wh what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> the smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene. Every body's smell concentrated. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop, seriously, I'm gonna throw up. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy! Huh? You're thinking the same thing then. My theory is, the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true, that would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful! Super awfully awful! Right, that's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless, but still, how is it not one of us has ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? I don't know. Let's see what Toko found. Let's see if Toko can speak. Hi, Toko. Do you still want to tell us what you were trying to tell us last episode? Hey, Nakia, it seems like Toko wants to say something. So, why are you telling me? Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. Thank you, hero. <laughs> ah, I'd forgotten about that. Jesus, man, I know you like torturing her, but come on! <laughs> well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. Y you honor me, master! D don't worry, I took care of the uh, odor problem. <laughs> Seriously, you're just gonna take it? Just shut up and don't interrupt when M Master and me are talking. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? Well, I was in a c classroom on the fifth floor and s something caught my attention. It was th this. A knife? Whoa, that thing is huge! It's like Rambo size! It's a survival knife of some type. But what was it doing in a classroom? How would I know? What are you going to use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not going to do anything. I just p picked it up. I don't want to leave a knife just lying around. I'd rather have it lying around there in the hands of a serial killer! D don't compare me to her! I'm no nothing like her! Listen, more important, now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? We can't let Toka keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. I don't want it anyway! It's too dangerous! Hmm, so what to do? Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? I was gonna suggest Kyoko hang on to it, actually. Huh? Me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Yes. And that's that! Everyone trusts me? Oh, hold on, don't I get a say? <laughs> it just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. Okay, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. 
fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Anyway, th that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko. Ah, do, do I still have b bad breath? Sorry, 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 I'm sorry, it stinks, I'm sorry, it stinks, I'm sorry. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Huh? 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 Did Master just praise me? <laughs> hey, good for you! Yeah! yeah! I I'm dreaming! I must be dreaming! <laughs> ah, that I would ever I experience such a dream! Ah, ah, <laughs> I feel strange! Oh my god, Toko! <laughs> ah, so strange! R really strange! Oh no! Ah, <laughs> Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. Toko? <laughs> Toko sure is a, a character, man! Okay, let's talk to Hero. Well, there's a big garden on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're going to say, but a tool shed. Okay. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. No, hero. I'm sorry. Okay, let's start with the stupidly large plant. Monokuma said that was called a monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. It's totally a man-eating plant! I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in here. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Wait, what, what was Hero talking about something in the pipe? Mm. Yeah, remember that! You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold! Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know? <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. Mm. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? Oh, no, no. Hey, come on, you don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. But if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. So, um, what was the question again? Uh, Don't worry, you just answered it. Oh, hero. <laughs> oh, hero, he's so silly. Okay, let's talk to Kyoko. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. If this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of creature. The final boss or tyrant or... We're not in a horror game, though. <laughs> Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood no matter how much you think about it. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. No, how I said is right too. <laughs> Fiaku, yeah? He's so sassy. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to kind of be Sakura's job, but... Anyway, no dice. There were metal plates all on the windows, just like everywhere else. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What'd you realize, Hina? What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? Yeah. Because if you did, you must have noticed. The fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Probably a staircase? Something on all the other floors, but not on the fifth floor? Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor's the end? 
We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. <laughs> All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But that's the hardest part! Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it! Yeah, Hina's right! Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes! Yeah, the power of friendship! Yeah, is that it? That's all the people we got. Huh, so what am I to do? Did I talk to everyone? Huh? Yeah. Buy a room. <laughs> no need to think about it too much. Huh? Who am I supposed to talk to? <laughs> I'm so confused. Master praised me. <laughs> I can live in this dream forever. <sighs> Maybe we should leave her alone for now. Anyway, it's settled. We'll let you be in charge of the knife, Makoto. Okay, talk to Hiro again? Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor. I found more than one thing to be worried about. Oh, sorry, Hiro. I didn't hear everything you had to say. I'm so sorry. There were a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? That's right. Five. Five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. Let's raise them big and fat. Then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or a barbecue! Decisions, decisions! Oh, oh, how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? Uh, Hina? Uh, I'm pretty sure that kill you. Thank you, hero. <laughs> they say he's dumb, but he's he's not dumb all the time. He has, he has smart moments. You noticed it too, huh? That pickaxe. Huh? What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the words Crazy Diamond have been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Crazy Diamond? Hmm, yeah, that does kind of sound familiar, I think. I don't just think. I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Mondo! Huh? Where? Oh, that's it! I remember! Mondo! Oh! Oh, my mouse has been on screen the whole time! I'm so sorry! <laughs> oh, no! It was on Mondo's uniform! On the back of his jacket! His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond! You're absolutely right. But why would... That be on the pickaxe in the garden. Mondo must have snuck it in there and done it, right? Mondo's dead! <laughs> but we didn't have access to the garden until today. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here, and Monokuma confiscated it! Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? Then what did? Ooh. What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. How are you gonna call for help with a lawnmower? I don't know. Maybe I can use it to crop circles or something. Uh, hero, everything's blocked. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. And we can use those to call for help. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know? Well, back then my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. Uh, I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Ooh. So, now what do we do? <laughs> well, starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You gotta bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. So, what is it you wanna figure out? Well, I think with that, I'm gonna end this episode here. <laughs> and then the next episode, we'll see what Byakuya wants to figure out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to, you can like, comment, 
subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you in the next episode of Danganronpa. Bye-bye!